If you are like most people, there is a gap between the person you are and the person you would like to be. You know that success at anything is 90% discipline and or good habits. So the person you want to be is someone who takes care of the everyday little things and achieves the big goals as well. You want to be the person who works out regularly, eats healthy, reads more, starts a business, etc. But instead find yourself browsing social media most of the time. It seems that for you to achieve your goals, you have to become a different person, someone more consistent and disciplined. You might have tried being this person and for a while it worked, but in the end, as usual, you always seem to fail. The truth, as I and most of you have learned, is that change is hard. But as with most things in life, understanding why change is hard makes it easier. Imagine your brain as being a thick, dense bush. Deciding to do something like go to the gym is like actually trying to move through this thick bush. It's difficult and uses up lots of energy, which your brain doesn't like doing, so it devised a genius plan. Every action you take leaves a path in the bush of your brain. Every time you go to the gym, even for a few minutes, you trample down on the bush a bit, flattening it a bit and creating little trails between the bush. The more times you show up for gym, the more pronounced the trail becomes. This is not about perfection, it's about progress. Over time, the trail turns into a path, making it easier to tread through, so you take the path more often. As you keep going to the gym or doing any other action repeatedly over the years, the path turns into a highway where going to the gym is effortless, familiar, and comfortable. The better developed the brain highways are, the more we use them, meaning we tend to do the same things over and over. This explains why change is hard and gets harder as you get older, because of the highways you have been developing over the years that are so much easier to use than trampling on new thick bushes. To understand how the brain highways are developed, we need to have an understanding of two things, routines and habits. Like the video if you see value in understanding how brain highways work and how to use them in your favor. Actions requiring conscious thought, complex decision-making, or extended effort are best classified as routines or tasks within a routine. A routine is a sequence of actions you consciously and do repetitively, like waking up, making your bed, and brushing your teeth. Routines can become habits. Habits are actions that can be carried out automatically without the need for extended focus or intense mental effort. It feels like autopilot, like when you see your phone and automatically unlock the screen. You don't need any convincing to perform a habit. You just do it. Habits are set off by triggers, like sitting in a car, which triggers the automatic reaching for the safety belt. What your brain does to lessen the load of all the actions it has to think about, make decisions about, etc., is to outsource the simple, repetitive actions like brushing of your teeth to habit, where they are then performed automatically. So, if we want to change anything in our lives and achieve new goals, it's a great idea to use these energy-saving mechanisms in the brain. Focus on little changes rather than big ones. It's better to improve a bit at a time than to aim high and achieve nothing. Let's look at the common goal of exercising regularly, for example. Make it simple by breaking it down into smaller, more easily achievable tasks, like only exercising for two minutes once you get to the gym. Set up your gym clothes and gear the night before and place them in an easily visible and accessible spot. This is the trigger. Reward yourself once you get to the gym by listening to your favorite podcast while you exercise to keep up your motivation. This may seem insignificant, but what you are doing is paving the way for a brain highway, one trampled bush at a time. Showing up at the gym each day, even just for two minutes, starts the routine, which you will convert to a habit making going to the gym more effortless, even comfortable.